Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you've got a tablet and you're thinking about taking it to the next level with Linux? Well, you're not alone. Normally, tablets don't come with Linux out of the box. Most tablets run Android, and the high-end ones usually stick to iOS or Windows. But if you're adventurous, there are ways to install Linux on your tablet. In today's video, we're going to dive into the top five Linux distros that are perfect for tablets. First up is Ubuntu the go-to Linux distro for so many users. And for good reason, Ubuntu works on just about any device, including tablets. It's incredibly user-friendly and has fantastic community support. Plus, recent versions have really stepped up their touchscreen game. Whether you're tapping, swiping, or using a stylus, Ubuntu's GNOME desktop feels smooth and responsive. What really sets Ubuntu apart is its ease of installation and the wealth of resources available online. You'll never feel lost. If you're new to Linux or just want something that works right out of the box, Ubuntu is a solid choice. Next is Fedora, which is known for always being on the cutting edge. It's perfect if you're running newer hardware or a convertible device. Fedora's frequent kernel updates ensure great support for touchscreens, styluses, and other input methods. The GNOME desktop's minimalist layout works surprisingly well for tablets, making navigation easy and intuitive. Fedora also has strong integration with Wayland, which enhances touch performance even further. If you're someone who wants the latest tech with great hardware compatibility, give Fedora a shot. Now, let's talk about Debian. The granddaddy of Linux distros, Debian is all about stability. If you want a rock-solid system that's reliable and low-maintenance, this is the one for you. While setting it up on a tablet might require a bit more manual tweaking for touch support, once you've got it running, it's smooth sailing. Debian's long release cycles mean you don't have to worry about constant updates or compatibility issues. For anyone looking for a dependable, long-term option for their tablet, Debian won't let you down. For the DIY enthusiasts out there, Arch Linux is a dream come true. With Arch, you build your system from the ground up, which means you can create a super streamlined tablet setup tailored to your needs. That said, Arch isn't for the faint of heart. The installation process is manual and takes time, but the end result is a highly customizable and lightweight system that's perfect for tablet use. Plus, Arch's rolling release model ensures you're always up to date with the latest software and features. If you're ready to invest the time and effort, Arch is incredibly rewarding. Last but not least, we have Pop OS. This distro is optimized for productivity and usability, making it a great choice for larger tablet screens. Pop OS enhances GNOME's touch support and introduces intuitive multitasking features like window tiling. It's designed to help you get things done, whether you're working on creative projects or managing your workload. What's more, it's incredibly polished right out of the box, with a layout that's intuitive and aesthetically pleasing. Pop OS offers a seamless, efficient experience for tablet users. Before we wrap up, a quick shout out to NixOS. It's a unique Linux distro that's all about customization. While it's probably not the best choice for beginners, advanced users will love the control it offers. Its declarative configuration model makes managing your system a breeze. Plus, its rollback feature is a lifesaver when experimenting with configurations. So there you have it, the top five Linux distros for tablets, plus an honorable mention. Whether you're looking for ease of use, stability, or total customization, there's a Linux distro out there for you. Have you tried any of these on your tablet? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.